the troubles, torments, and tortures awaiting those who miss the rapture beloved. Matthew 24, 20 to 21 says, And pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on a Sabbath, 21 for then shall be great tribulation, such as hath not been from the beginning of the world until now, no, nor ever shall be. On Tuesday, the 16th of May 2017, the Lord revealed a mystery to me about the aftermath of the rapture. On that Tuesday, the Lord Jesus said to me, I am revealing this to you so that you can warn my people about the great tribulation that is ahead. I want them to be aware of the things that are about to happen and the things that will befall. Those who will be left behind. So on Tuesday night after the women fellowship, I was feeling pain in my body because of the many visions from the Lord. Many of the visions that I experienced were putting my body through a lot. But after that, it's okay. That day after woman fellowship, I was resting in my pain when suddenly I came out of my body and I was flying in the air. As I was in the air, I could feel the presence of Jesus Christ by my side. Although I could not see him, I could feel his presence by my side. As we were moving, I saw that we were in front of a big warehouse. In fact, I was seeing warehouses of big companies, including warehouses of big shopping malls. We were standing in front of this warehouse. When I noticed robust demons guarding the gates of these warehouses that were locked in padlocks. These demons were guarding the gates so that no one could enter. Warehouse of torture instruments as I stood by the side of the door. The Lord caused the gate of this warehouse to open. When it did open, the Lord asked me to observe the things that were stored inside. When I looked inside, I saw many sharp instruments that will be used during the Great Tribulation in order to torture. Men and Christians that are left behind. They are all kinds of metallic and sharp instruments you can ever imagine. They were stored in this warehouse kept by demons. Actually, the sharp instruments that I saw were the instruments that demons used in hell the place of torment. They brought these torture instruments of hell on the surface of the earth in order to use them and torture whoever will refuse to get the mark of the beast and the seal of the Antichrist. There were torture machines designed to torture humans. Warehouse of One World Religion Bibles After Visiting the Warehouse of Torture Instruments The Lord took me to another warehouse that were kept by demons. When the gate of the warehouse was opened, I saw stock after stock of new Bibles. They were enough Bibles for the whole world population. They were unending stocks of these Bibles. The Lord said to me that the devil is working to set up a one world religion. And after the rapture, in the tribulation period, every church will be forced to join the one world ecumenical religion. The Lord said to me, the Bible that you are seeing is designed for the one world religion that will merge all the major religions of the world like Catholicism, Judaism, Islam, and others. And the people in church that join the one world religion would be using these revised and corrupted Bibles in the Great Tribulation. Warehouse of One World Currency After Leaving the Warehouse Where the One World Religion Bibles were stocked. The Lord took me to another warehouse that was guarded by demons. The Lord opened the gate for me to see what is hidden there. When the gate opened, I saw stocks after stocks of one single universal currency. The Lord said, Do you see this currency? This is the One World Currency that the whole world will be using after the rapture in the Great Tribulation. All the preparations are being made so that after the sounding of the trumpet by the archangel, this one world monetary system will be released in the circulation in all the countries of the world. Beloved, make no mistake. The devil and the global elites that are in covenant with him are making preparations, and they are anticipating the trumpet that is to be sounded by the archangel Michael. They are readying themselves for total control and total takeover. No stone will be left and turned. Warehouse of Chains After visiting the stock of the one world currency in this warehouse, the Lord Jesus Christ took me to another warehouse kept by demons. He caused the gate to open so that I may see things that were kept inside. I saw chains. I mean chains that were similar to the ones that were used during the transatlantic slave trade. These chains are used in hell of captives. And they will be used on those born-again Christians that have missed the rapture. After the rapture, those who refuse to take the mark of the Antichrist will be rounded up and chained. 
These chains will be used on any man refusing to take the mark of the beast. Warehouse of electronic devices after visiting these chains in that warehouse. The Lord took me to another warehouse kept by demons. He caused the gate that was closed in padlock to open. As a result, I saw many electronic devices, many computers and instruments that will be used during the Great Tribulation in order to stamp. The world population with the mark 666. There were all kinds of technologically advanced systems and devices that will be used in order to mark the world population. Training camps after visiting these devices and the technology of the Antichrist. The Lord took me to a massive training camp. I saw great numbers of troops being trained for the coming period and the era of the Great Tribulation. You could tell by their look that they were evil and malicious. Jesus said to me, Are you seeing these troops? These are the soldiers that are being trained in order to deal with Christians who miss the rapture during the Great Tribulation. They will handle Christians that have refused to get the mark, and they will take them to torture camps. These soldiers were tough and wicked. They will torture the Christians that are left behind. Therefore, they are being trained to handle Christian dissidents refusing the mark. Marine Kingdom Then the Lord transported me to the Marine Kingdom in the underworld civilization. I saw many products that we are using on the earth even now. I saw many items, many articles such as fashion clothes. I saw electronic devices such as mobile phones and electronic gadgets. And I saw home appliances such as TV and radio. There were makeup products and hygiene products that we use on the surface of the earth. Jesus said, these things that you see here are already in circulation on the surface of the earth. People are already using them. And these items and articles are affecting people, but during the Great Tribulation, everything that people will be using on the earth will come directly from the marine kingdom. Nothing will be man-made. Everything will come from the marine world. Yet people are already using these things on earth. Even Christians are buying them, beloved. When you buy something, Make sure that you pray before using them because these items and articles are designed with the purpose of weakening and corrupting born-again Christians and keeping the world away from the light of the gospel and away from the presence of God. Then the Lord took me out of the Marine Kingdom. We went to a particular church. It was like in the aftermath of the rapture. People were coming to church as the rapture had happened. And I had the feeling that I was also left behind. I was fearful. I said to myself, I am left behind, but such and such a person is in heaven, but I am left behind. The Lord said to me, you see these believers coming to church. They were supposed to be raptured, but they are even late in the church because of lack of commitment. They cannot be raptured. Then Jesus showed me another Christian talking to people outside the church while the service was going on. Jesus said to me, this believer was supposed to be sitting inside the church because the service has already started, but he is outside talking to people. With this attitude, it is difficult to be raptured, Jesus said. Many people do not realize that when a church service begins, I am presently there. They come to church late. They behave as if I was not there yet the Bible says where two and three are gathered in my name. I am there. The reason people behave that way is because they do not realize and believe that I am there. Jesus showed me a man sitting in the church. He said, this man comes to church, but he does not believe that I am there. Jesus showed me another man. He said, this man, when he hears the word, always thinks that the word is for other people, not for himself. Yet the word is directed and delivered for him. Jesus showed me people who could not be raptured because they do not have a prayer life. Yet prayer is one of the pillars of Christian life. If you cannot pray, you have a serious problem. Others could not be raptured because of ignorance. They could not study the word. When all these people realized that rapture happened, they became emotional. Others collapsed on the ground, but they were not dead. Most of these people that were left behind thought that they had done enough in order to be raptured. But they never knew that they had issues that they had to sort out. Beloved, if you think that you are ready for rapture, it will be prudent for you to ask the Lord to reveal to you hidden things that can be a hindrance. 
You don't want to discover that you had a hidden issue that has stopped you from going up. The Lord showed me members of many churches that had missed the rapture. I could see consternation and hopelessness. Even members of the holiness ministry were left behind in great numbers. People were crying on the floor and weeping and lamenting. The gravity of the situation was such that many wanted to commit suicide and strangle themselves. But the Lord Jesus said to me, in the aftermath of rapture, death will not be possible for some time. Rev 9 to 5 and to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was like a scorpion's torment when he stings a man. 6 and in those days men will seek death and will not find it and they will long to die, and death will flee from them. Jesus said, even if you poison yourself in the aftermath of rapture, you will feel the effect of the poison, but you will not die. You can throw yourself from a building. You will be badly injured, but you will not die. As I was traveling with the Lord, there was crying and weeping everywhere. These Christians that were left behind knew that something evil and terrible was on the way. They knew that unthinkable horror and terror were on the way for humanity. While Christians were lamenting, I saw groups of people entering churches to mock these Christians that were left behind. They were mocking these Christians. But because these Christians knew the gravity of the situation, they did not mind them. The gravity of this situation was such that even if someone slapped you in the face, you will not mind him because of the gravity and the magnitude of this global event that has happened. People were crying so much that at some point, even their tears dried up. Yet they were still crying because they were in pain and trauma. You could tell that they were forcing their cries, but there were no more tears dripping from their eyes. Yet they were in pain. After witnessing those who were left behind, I saw the authorities mobilizing the population in order to give them the mark of the beast. People who were refusing to get the mark were taken inside a vehicle that seems like a cargo truck that carries goods. As I was left behind in this vision, so we were all loaded in one of the cargo trucks and we were taken to the warehouse where the Lord showed torture instruments of hell that were brought to the surface of the earth. I noticed that when we were taken inside these cargo trucks, we were packed tightly like sardines in a dehumanizing way. This suffering really began inside that truck because we could not even breathe properly. When we arrived at these warehouses, they dumped us there. Beloved, when you look at these warehouses, you will fear because they were no exits. Immediately after they got us inside the warehouse, everybody could see torture and sharp instruments set up and well arranged all over the place. They began to take people one by one forward for torture. Where I was standing, I could see a tank filled with hot oil. I saw another tank filled with acid. I saw another tank filled with fire. I saw another tank filled with boiling water. I saw many machines that were supposed to torture people in an extremely excruciating manner. The Bible says in Rev 9 to 6, And in those days men will seek death and will not find it. And they will long to die, and death will flee from them. Many instruments were meant to torment us in order to force us to accept the mark of the Antichrist. They took some people for torture. Where I stood, I could see everything that was happening. Things were done in front of the crowds, so that they can witness the torture and the torment happening to the captives. That way the others will fear and they will accept the mark of the beast. I saw a man that was taken and dropped inside the tank of hot oil. The man was screaming and screaming, but he was not dying. Another man was placed in the acid tank. He was screaming. Another man was placed inside the hot boiling water and he was crying as he was burned. Another man was placed in a machine. All these people were screaming because of the pain. These tortures could easily have killed them but they were not dying. All this was happening in front of the crowds of Christians that were left behind. As we were witnessing the torture people began to give up. Many people began to request the mark of the Antichrist out of fear of these tortures that they were witnessing. These people were getting the mark. Once people were accepting to receive the mark, they were set free and they were leaving the place of torture. What we were witnessing was horror, unthinkable horror that we could never imagine. While we were observing the tortures, another batch of people were brought in the warehouse. 
When the people who were in the tanks of acid, hot oil and hot water were taken out of these tanks, we noticed that they had no more flesh left on their bones. They were just skeletons, and yet they were not dead. These people had no more flesh, yet they were not dead. There will be no death in that time. The Bible says people will seek death, but death will run away from them. They will be in so much pain, but they won't be dying. These people were skeletons, yet they could speak and move. Even in their skeletal condition, they continued to undergo torture. Another group of Christians was placed in a torture machine. This machine was removing their skin. The upper layer of their skin was removed and what was left was red flesh. After the first group was tortured, the second group was deep in the tanks of hot oil and acid for torture. In the meantime, new rivals were dropped by the cargo trucks. While the torture were inflicted on the second group, people that were standing there and waiting for their turn were giving up. They could not believe what they were seeing. They were requesting to get the Mark 666 and they were released from this torture camp once they were given the Mark. When it was my turn, they took me. They had a way of removing women's natural hair. They put me inside a machine and they placed my head inside where there was hot oil. Beloved, imagine your head inside hot oil. How would you feel? There was something inside that machine that was filled with hot oil. They would place your head there and then they would press a button. As a result, your head will enter that machine and all your natural hair will be burned by hot oil. It was tough for me because after removing me from that machine, they took me to another place of torture. They placed me in a machine where my eyes were plucked out of their sockets. In normal times, I would have died out of pain, but death refused to receive people's souls. Then they took me to another machine where my fingernails were plucked out like in the period of Inquisition, beloved. They will rip open your stomach and they will take your intestine, but you will not die. They will put you in terrible and unbearable pain that you could ever imagine. These are things they are preparing for Christians that would be left behind. Therefore, beloved, let us strive to perfection because something terrible will happen after the rapture. The devil is planning bad things for Christians that will be left behind. But thanks be given to God who is revealing to humanity the future so that we can take measures and avoid the great tribulation. If you are hearing this warning from the Lord, I beseech you not to take it lightly because horror will come after the rapture. Please prepare yourself to escape the things that are about to happen. This is not the time to relax and live the way you want. The Lord has granted me to go through the torture of the great tribulation and I have suffered. That is why I am warning you. After going through all these, the Lord took my spirit back in my body. When I woke up, I felt extremely tired and for two days, I could not stand up because I was feeling the pain everywhere. Often things that happen in the spirit world have an effect on the physical body. I was feeling the pain of the torture that I have experienced in that dream in my body for two days. While the pain was not finished, the Lord came again. I saw the weather changing. Suddenly in the sky immediately I heard the sound of the trumpet. The sound of the trumpet was terrifying to hear. The earth was shaking while the archangel was sounding the trumpet. Afterward I saw part of the earth melting away and being destroyed. I saw the sky being rolled away. Mountains were being moved from their place. Everything was being destroyed. The earth was melting like oil. It was fearful to the point of death. My dear, do not joke with your salvation. Every iota of the word of God is the truth and it will come to pass. The coming of the Lord will be fearful and people are failing to see it. Just do not joke with your eternity. By the grace of God, last Sunday in the service, I fell on the ground and I was taken to a room. The Lord began to reveal to me something. I saw myself sitting on a table around a very beautiful young man. The table was very well dressed and a book was opened before me on that table. The title of that book was Daily Activity and Record Book. I asked the young and beautiful man before me, what is the meaning of this book? The young man said to me, if you do things that I am about to tell you now, every day when you wake up in the morning, it will help you and make it easier for you to be raptured. The man said, when you wake up in the morning, 
Instead of rushing to work like many, you should first take time to pray. While the young man was talking to me, I noticed that in this book, there were many names. There were records of people's activities from morning to night. Everything was recorded in this book. The man showed me the name of a particular Christian. And he said to me, look at this Christian. When he wakes up in the morning, he does not pray. He does not study my word. He does not evangelize. But in the evening, the person prays before sleeping. The man who was Jesus said to me, this Christian did not begin the day with me, but he wants to finish the day with me. Such a person cannot rapture. I asked him, is this all part of the judgment?